Mayonnaise is one of the great classic savoury sauces and there's a lot of fuss made about how difficult it is to make and I'm going to show you now that it isn't actually all that difficult. So I've got good eggs, free range eggs, some mustard, I've got some oil and it's worth noting here uh, that I've got some olive oil and also I'm using sunflower oil so we'll get a nice balance. It won't be too olivey but there will be enough olive oil to flavour the mayonnaise. A little vinegar which could be replaced with lemon juice and then some salt and pepper. So good quality egg yolks which I'm going to separate because um, we only use the yolk for a classic mayonnaise. These are lovely free range egg yolks which as you can see is reflected in the um, colour of them there. These egg whites I'll say will save for another day. Now a pinch of salt, just like that, a little uh, pinch of pepper. I'm using black pepper. If you prefer white pepper so that you don't see little spots of pepper in the mayonnaise then that's what you can use. But I prefer the slightly milder flavour of black rather than white. A little vinegar, white wine vinegar, it could be um, lemon juice as well makes an excellent substitute. So all of these ingredients just go in together. Egg yolks, salt, pepper, um, vinegar and the one remaining ingredient is a little mustard. I'm using French mustard, you could use English mustard, Irish mustard, wherever the mustard comes from in the part of the world that you happen to live in. So the egg yolks, mustard, vinegar, salt and pepper in here to give them a mix around. I'm using a little handheld whisk, you could use an electric whisk as well if you wanted to. And I'm going to dribble the oil in very slowly. Now when it starts to thicken, which it will fairly soon, um, I can then um, add the oil a little bit faster, but not much, because if you get too um, arrogant with this, it may uh, split. You can see it's starting to thicken just slightly there. So I'll add the oil just a tiny little bit faster, but really not that much. Okay, nearly there. Last little bit going in. See, I'm being reasonably brave now with the speed of the oil, but never any faster than a sort of a single dribble or stream like that. Now, that's it. Lovely, creamy consistency. That's perfect consistency. And that's homemade mayonnaise. And as you can see, it really is very straightforward. And this changes everything. Um, wherever you use mayonnaise, and you, when you use homemade mayonnaise, it just changes everything you eat with it. It's completely essential, I would say.